Today's topic is aplastic anemia. Aplastic anemia is a blood disorder in which the body's bone marrow doesn't make enough new blood cells. This may result in a number of health problems, including arrhythmias, an enlarged heart, heart failure, infections, and bleeding. Aplastic anemia is a rare but serious condition. It can develop suddenly or slowly and tends to worsen with time unless the cause is found and treated. Causes Damage to the bone marrow stem cells causes aplastic anemia. In more than half of people who have aplastic anemia, the cause of the disorder is unknown. A number of acquired diseases, conditions, and factors can cause aplastic anemia, including toxins such as pesticides, arsenic, and benzene, radiation and chemotherapy, medicines such as chloramphenicol, infectious diseases such as hepatitis, Epstein-Barr virus, cytomegalovirus, parvovirus, B19, and HIV. Autoimmune disorders such as lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. Inherited conditions such as Fanconi anemia, Vachman Diamond syndrome, dyskeratosis congenital, and Diamond Black Fan anemia may also cause aplastic anemia. Signs and symptoms. The most common symptom of aplastic anemia are fatigue, shortness of breath, dizziness, headache, coldness in your hands or feet, pale skin, gums, and nail beds, chest pains. Treatment. Treatment for aplastic anemia includes blood transfusions, blood and marrow stem cell transplants, and medication. These treatments can prevent or limit complications, relieve symptoms, and improve quality of life. In some cases, a cure may be possible. Blood and marrow stem cell transplants may cure the disorder. Removing a known cause of aplastic anemia, such as exposure to a toxin, may also cure the condition. Risk People of all ages can get aplastic anemia. However, it is most common in adolescents, young adults, and the elderly. Men and women are equally likely to have it. A person's risk for aplastic anemia is higher if you have been exposed to toxins, taken certain medications, or had radiation or chemotherapy treatment. Certain infectious diseases, autoimmune disorders, or inherited conditions. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.